Welcome to PDAC 2019. It's the first day, the show is just getting underway. And we're here today with Dr. Dave Dreisinger of Search Minerals. Yes. How, do, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. It's nice to, to see here. you again. I haven't seen you for about six months. Yes, it's been at least that long. Um, your reputation is as an expert in metallurgy and mainly in the rare earths, right? Yeah, generally, but also rare earths in this particular case. That's correct. Which is suitable since Search right, Minerals search is searching minerals. for rare earths. Where are your projects located? We're in uh, Labrador, in the province of Newfoundland, yes. right on the coast. We've got a 70 kilometer by 8 kilometer belt uh, called the Port Hope Simpson District, okay. which is mineralized through the whole extent of the district. And we've got uh, currently two resources and about 20 more prospects to track down in that space. And which of the rare earths are you looking for? Well, we're looking, we, they all come together typically, but the ones that we're finding that are, are most economically interesting are the uh, neodymium and the praseodymium. Numbers 59 and 60 on the 59 and 60. I, I can't say that word, so I just call them 59 and 60. Or NDPR, right. yeah, or PRND, how, uh, however you might want to say it. Okay. And then also dysprosium and also terbium. And why are those important to our modern economy? They're, they're basically magnet-making materials. So they go into the high-intensity magnets used for all the electrification of our society. Right. We see huge uh, increases in demand for these materials as electrification takes place. If I remember correctly, the average, the average combustion engine vehicle uses a half kilogram of those rare earths, but the average electric vehicle needs over a kilogram. That's correct, and, and of the higher value ones. And if I remember correctly, the world prediction for electric vehicles this year is four million units? I don't have that exact number in mind, uh, but it, yeah, it's increasing exponentially as we go. And you know, 10 years ago, none of us would have thought about buying an electric vehicle. Now most of us are contemplating it. Right, so you need to feed that supply for the magnets. Absolutely. Um, what's happened lately in the company? Well, a couple of things. We, we've uh, been drilling in Newfoundland, Labrador. We've just identified, the, just drilled the Deep Fox resource, which is our second deposit. Right. We've gone down to 200 meters. We found them, like we did for Foxtrot, our original resource, we found that our mineralization extends down to 200 meters. Okay. It's the same at depth as it is on surface. It's higher grades than Foxtrot, so it's a more attractive resource from that point of view. What's it hosted in? It's, it's basically a volcanogenic deposit. Okay. So it's basically a layer of mineralization that over time has been would have been deposited horizontally, it's been tilted up more or less vertically. Right. So we see on the surface a channel of mineralization that extends down uh, to this depth of at least 200 meters, right. showing the same grades and, and uh, widths as we see on the surface. When do you think the drill results will be out? Uh, the results came out Friday. Oh. Yeah, so we do have the results out and they are showing sort of a 10 to 20% increase on grades. And very importantly, a, a much larger width of mineralization. So when you're mining something that's like a monolith, right. you want it to be as large in width as possible. Right. So we're seeing at least a 350 meter length to it and about a, a 30 meter uh, width to it. Now historically, there is a preliminary economic assessment or PEA on the property. Yes. No doubt you'll have to update that now. We, we will, we're, we're actually having meetings uh, during the show here to actually engage with our, our partners on the PA development to make sure that we put out a new resource statement and update our preliminary economic ass assessment on that uh, resource. A lot of exciting things happening up at Deep Fox for you. Absolutely. We'll keep an eye on it. Dr. Dreisinger, thank you for coming in to speak with us. It's always good to see you. Thank you, Peter. Thanks very much.